All right, so what we're going to do here is remove all the hyperlinks from this Excel spreadsheet. If you see down here at the bottom, there are several places in this spreadsheet where there are hyperlinks that shouldn't be. You can see the hand jump back and forth between hyperlink and no hyperlink. Um, I tried a couple different methods, like using macros, uh, but unfortunately that's just not practical to go through. Uh, the macro is actually more effective at taking care of all the hyperlinks, and uh, using this remove hyperlink is going to take ages because of the sheer number. So the simple thing that we're going to do is basically copy all the information in this spreadsheet over to another. So first thing we'll do is insert a new spreadsheet, which we do here by right-clicking, pushing insert. Uh, we want to insert a worksheet that pops up. We're going to name that sheet replacement just so we can identify it easily. Uh, we're going to copy all the information in here. Click the box up here, right click, copy. Uh, go over to your replacement, right click, paste. Everything's going to come in over here, but it's still going to have those hyperlinks. So what we're going to do is over here in the top right hand corner is a button called uh, paste special or paste options. We're going to push values and source formatting. What that's going to do is take away the hyperlinks, but it also loses our formulas. Uh, so the numbers that we have here now no longer have formulas. Uh, the easy way to remedy that, uh, we have one line here that has no hyperlinks. It's, it's unaffected by, by the copy and paste of the hyperlinks. So what we can do is just copy that information. We'll go over here to the other replacement sheet and we'll just paste that in the same spot as its as its counterpart. So now if we click one of these we'll see that the formula is up there at the top. The last thing we need to do is just take that information wherever we have numerical calculations and fill all the way down. So we'll just go like so and we will copy cells. Now take a look up here at the top. All these other ones are, should include the formulas. It should be all correct now. Uh, the good thing about this is it keeps all your original formatting, uh, keeps all your spacing, column widths, column heights, row heights, especially important because it's difficult to get back where you were once you lose all that information. Uh, the last thing that we can do is this other window was, was frozen in place. Uh, looks like over here between H and I and 6 and 7. So H and I, 6 and 7, we will just freeze those panes. I think I may have gotten it off, but close enough. And there you have it. It's replaced.